Hello, I'm Captain Ted Jones, host of Pleasure Boater TV, and I want to talk to you about one of the great safety devices that's been invented in recent years in the marine industry, and that's the signal mate. Why is it a safety device and why is it so important? Because it controls your horn and any light you want. The horn gives the general direction and the light pin points exactly which vessel is signaling. And we'll completely install all the wiring hooked up. It's time to show you exactly how the signal mate operates. All three signal mate models, console, flush, and portable, operate exactly the same. I'll start out by pressing the on off button just momentarily, and it will do an LED to make sure all the LEDs are working correctly. Signal mate will now be in manual setting with both the horn graphics and the manual LED illuminated. In this startup condition, the horn can be used as a typical horn button by pressing the manual button. If the output button is pressed, light graphics will illuminate, and the horn graphic will be extinguished, indicating that now the light device will be the output. If the output button is pressed again, both the horn and light graphics will illuminate, indicating both horn and light will be in the output. Press the output again, and both the horn and light graphics will go out. This indicates that neither the horn nor the light will be the output to a device, and allows the operator to preview the output LED sequences during the automated modes or manual presses. The outputs can be cycled by pressing the output button until the desired outputs are selected. The manual button can be used for normal operations or maneuvering, such as signaling your intentions to other boats when crossing, meeting head-on, or overtaking. Signal Mate will allow you to simultaneously signal with both the horn and the 360-degree anchor light for maneuvering, which will greatly increase the communications between boats at night. It can be very difficult to determine which boat is signaling with only a horn. When the mode button is pressed, mode will illuminate along with power making way found in the restricted visibility section. Each press of the mode button will advance to the next section. The choices will continue to loop around until the appropriate selection is made as follows. In restricted visibility like rain, fog or snow. Now in the power making way mode we get a five second blast every two minutes. Next, power not making way, it's underway but not moving, you get two five second blasts every two minutes. All the conditions under number three are signaled by five second blast followed by two one second blasts every two minutes. Nuke stands for not under command, for example might be a loss of steering or something like that. Ram is restricted in ability to maneuver, such as dredging or cable lying, something of that nature. Sail is uh, without propelling machinery. Fish is using an apparatus, example nets or lines or something like that. Towing means just what it says, towing or pushing another vessel. Towed and manned is a five second blast followed by three one second blasts every two minutes. Immediately follows the signal made by the towing vessel. At anchor, well that's a one second blast followed by five second blast followed by a one second blast. This occurs every minute. Signal mate can be set to select any one of the modes on any combination of outputs in the ready standby condition waiting for either the single or repeat button to be pressed to begin execution of the output sequence. When the single button is pressed while in any of the modes, signal mate will perform one sequence and wait for the next key press. But when the repeat button is pressed, signal mate will continue to repeat the sequence at the proper time intervals for international and inland waters. The sequence will continue until another button is pressed. In addition to the restrictive visibility modes in the box right here, there are also the danger, doubt, and the distress modes. The danger, doubt signal should be used when a dangerous condition exists or in doubt about the intentions of other boats, which is signaled by five short rapid blasts. A 360-degree white light can supplement the signal, danger, doubt, for inland international waters. The distress signal should be used when a vehicle is in distress or requires assistance. The signal can be continuous blast of the horn or an SOS signal with a horn, light, or both. The international distress signal of an SOS is three-third of a second blast, three one-second blasts, and three-third of a second blasts, or international Morse code for SOS. Signal mate can also go into an inland distress light mode by pressing and holding the repeat button for two seconds when in the SOS mode. This allows the light to go on and off at a rate of 50 to 70 times per minute as required by the rules for distress on inland waters. 
A reminder, sound and light signals may be used simultaneously to signal maneuvering, restricted visibility, danger, doubt, and distress. The last mode, horn or light on, allows the outputs to be switched on and can be used to control the horn for a steady blast for distress, anchor light, or any other device connected to the outputs, or the 12 volt port adapter. Remember, we removed that on this installation, but on some installations you may want to use that and actually plug one of those portable lights into it. SignalMate is designed to provide backlighting in conditions of reduced light or darkness. The light sensor located in the SignalMate logo senses light and will illuminate the back panel as needed. That concludes the demonstration of how to install your SignalMate and also how to use it.